Hi everybody, welcome to Serenity Cards and Coaching. Today is March 7th and normally I do my Simply Stamping ordering special at this time, but um, I'm waiting on a couple things. And so I have a surprise for today that I've been wanting to share anyway, so I'm so excited. So um, you can find the instructions for this. So today's March 7th. You can find the instructions for this tomorrow, March 8th at leelamikey.com. And I am Leela with Serenity Cards and Coaching, and I'm excited to share this card with you today. This is the card we are going to learn how to make today. Are you ready for it? Wait for it. Ah! This is the card, and it's a congratulations card. So here's the story behind this card. <coughs> this card is the card that I'm giving to every single one of my team members as they hit um, an anniversary this year. And I started it at the very beginning of the year in January, and it was going to be a surprise, but somebody revealed it on the team and she asked if I could explain how to make it. So today I'm going to explain how to make it. So just a moment about my team. I've got an awesome team. There's about 15 to, I don't know, 15 to 17 of us, and we're just a great group, encouraging, and we love to be creative. We love what we do, and we love to celebrate each other. So um, this card is for you guys, and let's go ahead and get started on it. I'm going to talk pretty quickly through the ingredients because I am going to write up a thorough PDF. But um, just really briefly, we've got a piece of cardstock at eight and a half by four and a quarter, and we're going to score it at the five and a half inch mark and the seven inch mark. And I've already taken the liberty to do that. So um, again, there will this will all be written up for you, but you can stop and do screen grabs if you want as well. This will go over onto YouTube. We've got a second piece of paper at eight and a half by two, and we're gonna score at the one and a half and the three inch mark. So I don't know if you can see those score lines, but um, you just use your scoreboard and you score just at the one and a half and the three. The other ingredients that we need, we need two pieces of basic white. One's gonna be for the front, one's gonna be for the back. You could also use designer series paper. I just chose to kind of do my own decoration. I love this love what you do sentiment. I love it. And I love this basket of cheer or cheerful basket. I'll share more about that in a moment. But um, I, oh my gosh, I think I'm making 30 of these because I'm also making them for loved ones. But um, I stamped them out and then I colored them in with blends. And you may notice these are the in colors right now. Um, and some of them are leaving and some of them are carrying over. And then this congratulations, I'll briefly show this guy. This congratulations is the kind and sincere stamp set. And by the way, Lynn, this is your exact card for June because I know you love Tahitian Tide. <laughs> um, and this is the congratulations, which you just won that stamp set. But anyway, um, so you've got those two, we'll be putting those on. We're going to have some designer series paper and if you cut it just right, you can get all of this out of a six by six and I'll just share. We've got four by one and a quarter. We've got, oh no, five and a quarter by one and three quarter, four by one and a quarter. And then we've got two little pieces at one and a quarter by one and three quarter. And really they're just used to line the card. So even if all you had was the card um, base measurements, they're just used to line all the different panels on the card. And so we'll be seeing that as we go along. So that's the designer series paper. And then we've got, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, all right, I'll find it. Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness. This little, I don't see very well. I don't see contrast very well. So I lose little window sheet pieces all the time. But anyway, we've got a little window sheet piece at, um, you can kind of see it, at one half by one and three quarter. And we've got a piece of cardstock, matching coordinating cardstock at one by one and three quarter. So those are all the ingredients. And then of course, we've got the fun decorative pieces that's the cheerful basket. So I use the cheerful basket, there's stamps and dies, 
And in this case, I'm using the basket and the craft, um, the craft supplies. I'm also using the hearts. I've used the apples. I've just really, I've used the kitty lately. I've just been really, really smitten with this stamp set. And so today we're using the craft supplies. And so I use the stamps and the dies. And so um, you can see like this handle right here, I used on silver foil and then the die rolls out with a nice wood grain. And then I stamped this out and I colored it in um, all the in colors. So that was kind of fun. So that's that guy. Um, and then this is actually a different stamp set. So again, this is not gonna be your everyday card. This is not gonna be, oh, let me bust out a little card. This is a really thoughtful, intentional one that takes a little bit of a few of the different supplies in our library. But why wouldn't we have any of these? They're amazing. We want the in colors. This limited edition stamp set, I cut out that little hand stamped by. This is just great for just um, letting people know, you know, that you made them a card. So that's a great stamp set. Um, I did use these hearts and you can see it's not the whole. Um, and I'll show it to you. I needed a very specific size as I got into it, but basically I stamped it and then I either fussy cut it or die cut it, depending on what my mood was, because I made lots of them. And then I use stylish shapes, vellum circle. I use stylish shapes, um, basic white circle. And I don't remember what this let's celebrate you is from, but, oh, I think it's the one with like the mittens and the celebrate tags one, but I really, I love my customers. I love my team. And I really just wanted it to be a very cel celebratory card. So the final thing is a tiny little bow right there. So let's get to the assembling of it. I did a lot of pre-work ahead of time. So you're not going to sit and watch me assemble all this, but really you would just, you know, um, color it and glue it and put everything together. So we're going to put these off to the side right now. We're going to make sure not to lose that little window piece. It's such a Dickens of a thing as my eyesight is going. I'm like, where are the window sheets? And I've been using them a lot lately. But anyway, here we've got this piece of cardstock and we want to go ahead and get it good and burnished. So um, again, I gave you the measurements and they'll be out on the site. Um, but there we go. We're going to get that guy burnished and we're going to get this side burnished. I love this Tahitian Tide and I haven't worked with it enough. And so um, honestly, I've been making this card in all the different in colors. So the girls from January and February actually got the Fresh Freesia version. And then the girls this month are going to get this one. But I know that um, Lynn loves Tahitian Tide. So this one's for Lynn. All right. So I've got all these here and I'm just going to kind of lay them out. I told you these are just the lining. These are just, we're going to go ahead and get those assembled. We're not going to line the inside of that guy because um, as you can see from the card, you're not going to see it at all. You're just, it's not even a thing that your eye is going to go to or pay attention to. So I love glue. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all glued up. I'm using also the designer series paper that is in all the um, this year's in colors. And it's the T, what's the name of it? I don't know. It's something T party and I love it. I actually have made a version of this card where I had, um, it was a get well card. And so I'll just describe it to you. In the corner here, I had, um, well, it was let's get, get well. And then when you, open it up. Oh, I know it was a teacup, right? So um, comforting when you're sick. And then when you opened up, out popped a tissue box with a little tissue in it. So that was a swap card I made. That was really sweet, but I forgot to take a picture or save it or anything. So it's long gone, but you can really have a lot of fun with this. And I actually, I was looking, I wanted to tell you guys, so this is a, a modern version of the wiper card, but true story, true story. I used to write for a magazine called Rubber Stamp Madness years ago, and I got to do an interview of a gal who did a wiper card, um, and it was the old traditional one where you open it and it kind of comes out of the top, like a butterfly might come out of the top, or I don't know, hers was a little different themed, but, um, but anyway, I got to interview someone who did that, so I've been doing wiper cards for many, many years, but I love kind of the modern day version of it where it kind of pops out of the middle of it. I've also seen it where you could do this 
and the whale comes out, right? So you've got a nice ocean scene. I've also seen it where a beer mug comes out. That's my, not my cup of tea. Ha! No pun intended, but um, there's just a lot of different things you can do with it. And what I would say is, um, I'll give you a couple tips about adjusting the size. Um, you can make this panel wider and you would want to make this panel wider if you were working with something that was larger. I can't think, I, I mean, I only, I'm using this size, so I don't know, but um, maybe the beer stein would be wider, maybe the whale would be wider. So, um, so this is now, you can see how the card is starting to come together. Um, and so you can absolutely make this taller or shorter. So you've got some flexibility there. But anyway, now we've got everything lined up. We've got just that same basic cardstock, like I told you, and we've got everything all lined. And now we're going to start to assembling the pieces. I'm going to put these guys um, still off to the side because those are kind of the final touches. But let's get to working with the mechanism. Um, the first thing I am going to do before I put the mechanism on, I am going to adhere this side here. So where with the larger card, you've got the um, kind of the panels on the right. Then with the smaller part, you're going to have the folded panels on the left. So and in order to know where to put the, ad the adhesive, I'm going to kind of put this right here and eyeball it. So I want to go two inches up. So that's going to be about right there. And I love glue, so I'm just going to use glue. And I'm going to put it just all along the DSP inside. That way I know it's going to be covered nicely. And then I'm going to go ahead and line up the left edge and the corner. And I'm just going to kind of, what I love about glue, of course, I can move it around a little bit and get it just exactly right positioned. And I'm going to give it a good, good burnish. Sometimes I come in with my bone folder. And the reason no glue is oozing out is because, of course, I didn't go to the edge, right? So if you don't go to the edge, then when you do this, the glue does spread. It does get to the edge, but it doesn't ooze out. So there's no um, little issues right there. So now he's good and adhered. We've got all of that in place. And now we can start with the mechanism. So... Um, all I can tell you is I, I'm going to try to describe it to you. I know how to do it, but I'm also like, it blows my mind every time we do it. it I feel like, I, I don't know, it just hurts my mind a little bit, but I know how to do it step by step. And that's what I'm going to show you. And what we're doing is kind of working backwards. So we're going to get there. But um, here we've got our piece. It's one by about one and three quarters. And you just manually fold it yourself so that you've got a point here and you're coming up to the edge right there so that's a um and you know what i was going to do this in a different color can i do that because i wanted to have you guys see it in a different color so well i'm going to ruin another card but i'm going to do it i'm going to do one by one and three quarter is that what it was and then so that you can just see the different color um, is that right? Yeah, that's good. Now, well, good. So then I'll show you my tip. My tip for scoring, I'm not very good at folding, but I'm pretty good at scoring. So I just, this is from my scoreboard. You could also take a bone folder probably, and I'm just going to give a good line and it may not be perfect. I want it so that when it scores, it folds and this tip makes it up there, but at least it gets it started. So now I've given it a good kickstart. Um, so that's good. And then I'm going to, yeah, that was perfect. All right. So I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to get it like that. So you guys, all we've done is we've taken a piece of cardstock and we've folded it up like that. That's it. That's all we've done. So that's a step right there. Um, what we're going to do, and I'll explain it to you. And again, I don't want to lose my little window sheet. So I'm going to put them over here. So what we want to do, this is where we're headed. I gave myself a dummy <laughs> so that I didn't get dyslexic while we were talking. This is where we're headed. This is where we're headed. So you guys, we've got a piece of cardstock like this, piece of cardstock like this, and then we're going to put a little window sheet on it, but let's take it a step at a time. So piece of cardstock like this, and 
Um, I was watching Lisa Curcio. If you want another view on how to do this, Lisa Curcio did a great um, description of this as well. But um, she suggested using a mini glue dot first just to um, get the practice of it. That's no way going to be strong enough to be what you need to do. So, um, so as you're practicing and learning how to do it, use a mini glue dot. But when you adhere it, use something. I'm not even going to use tear and tape. I'm going to use glue. But what you want to do, you want to get it so that your piece of paper is right here. And you want, you don't want to be over the crease mark right there. So I hope you can see like, there's a crease mark right there. You don't want to be over the crease mark. And you don't want to be above this line right here. So I'm going to put it in just temporarily and then we're going to come back in and do it permanently. But I'm going to put it right there so that I'm not at the crease mark. And so that I'm not above the line right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just temporarily right now, and I'm going to give it a good burnish. So that's that. So all we've done, we folded a piece of paper. I mean, we cut a piece of paper, we folded it, and then we adhered it very specifically on this middle panel so that it doesn't go above and so that it doesn't go past. So that's that. Now we're going to take our window sheet, and the window sheet is one half by about one and three quarter. Some of these sizes are going to vary depending if you um, depending on the size of what you're working with, but this works exactly for this guy. So I'm going to put a mini glue dot right there. Again, that's not going to be strong enough to hold it, but I'm going to put it there um, just so that you guys can kind of see the mechanism of how it works. So I'm going to put it there and now I'll turn it over and you can see what happens. It's going to blow your mind. It blows. It still blows my mind every time. So now when you've done it exactly right and you open it, well, you can't see it, but um, can I catch the light just right? Yeah, right there. You can see that that is coming up. You can see that it, it, and it pops. You can't see it moving. So we'll get an image on it, but um, it, it just pops up. That's what we want. From here, the rest is easy. I know that I like everything right there. And um, so now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make things more permanent. So I'm gonna come in and put my glue on it. You may need to hold it a little bit if you're using glue, but I really like glue because then you know it's good and stuck. And so I got a little happy with the glue. When I get a little happy with glue, I, um, if it's just the tiniest little amount, I'll use my finger, but then it gets all over everywhere. So I'll come in with a baby wipe and just kind of wipe that. Now you don't want to do that if it's a stamped area, because if it's a stamped area, then you're going to get ink everywhere. But with cardstock, it works okay. So I'm just kind of cleaning up. Now, if for some reason you didn't catch it when it was wet, you can come in with a glue eraser when it's dry and just kind of rub it all off. But we're just going to... Um, we're just going to do it like that. So he's glued and he's good and nothing sticking anywhere. And now um, I'm not going to use glue on a window sheet. I'm going to use a little piece of tear and tape on my window sheet. And I happened to glance at my phone when I turned to the left and I noticed that I got a message from my dog trainer. So Bob and I are taking a tiny little vacay, and so Wrigley is with his dog trainer, and I miss him already, but she's doing such a good jo job, and he's doing such a good job, so um, he just, he hopped right into her car, he went right off on vacation, it's like a little Wrigley vacation, so I'm excited for him, but I'm wondering what she's texting, I got, you know what, I was never a mom, but I guess that must be what it's like to be a mom, what's happening with my little one? But all right, so now I'm going to come over here and just test it again. Um, oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to come over here and it's working perfect. So now I'm ready and I, yeah, now I'm ready 
to go ahead and seal this. So I'm gonna, I know that this whole panel is gonna fit over there. So I'm gonna seal this side. And the only thing is make sure that when you're sealing it, like don't get that stuck there, right? Don't, he could have a tendency, don't, 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 don't let it get stuck there. So I'm gonna come over here. And again, I'm just gonna fit that corner into that corner. Um, and it will, the whole thing will fold exactly. So I'm just gonna, I like to, when I'm kind of pairing two pieces of cardstock together, I just kind of go like this, just to make sure it's lined up. And then I know that I'm aligned both ways. And so that's a lovely thing. I'm gonna come in and burnish. Just make sure I'm glued everywhere. I'm gonna kind of feel underneath, like this one, you don't want excess glue because, um, then that starts to get really mucky. And so that's that. Now I can just go ahead and decorate the rest. So I've already taken the liberty of putting my little basket. Is this so sweet? I mean, look at this. Is this so sweet? And I'll tell you, even if you don't use the dies, if you just use the stamps, it's super cute just with the stamps. You can just stamp the basket and you can still get all the texture and the dimension. You don't even have to have the dies for this piece either. It's just, it's, it works stamps, it works dies, it's just awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and put the basket, and who wouldn't love a basket of crafts? Oh my goodness, full of in color. You know, we're going to be getting some new colors. So we know that some of these are staying. Um, polished pink may or may not go, but um, we know that some of the other colors are staying. But there's going to be a color refresh. All right, so now we're building all that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my heart on here. So here's the thing I'm going to say about placing my hearts. I don't want them to go beyond the left edge. So when I put them, I'm going to put them right there and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a mini glue dot first just so that um, so I can try it on for size because what I don't want is I don't want it coming out this end either, or I'll never get it into the, um, I'll never get it into the envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and place my glue dot like right there. And again, I'm doing it temporarily. So glue dots, glue dots, glue dots until you're happy with the positioning. And then you come back in with a more permanent placement. And this is a fussy little gussy. You want to get this guy. He's got to be just the right angle. So let's see. Yeah, see, he's not the right angle. So you come back in and you just kind of, um, I don't know, you bring them down a little bit and on an angle a little bit. Again, I'm not going to the left of that and I'm not going past that top one. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to like fake it from underneath. So I'm going to push it up so that it's not out and then I'm going to lift it and see what happens. And if I like it right there, well, he's a little funny, isn't he? I don't like it right there. He looks very crooked. So it's a fussy little gussy, you guys. You got to just kind of play with it. Um, let's try it a little higher and see how that goes. Nope. Well, I know it works because I've done it. So it just takes some playing. All right. I'm just going to. Maybe he's just going to end up being a little bit crooked, this one. Yeah. And then really what we want to get the attention anyway is the stamp coming out. So once I once I've got all that figured out, I can put my stamp on top of it and I'm putting my stamp. Um, so I'll come back in with another glue dot underneath just to be really secure underneath. Um, so now that I know how it's placed, so I'll get that just nice and secure. I'll um, I'll probably use some tear and tape too. I go just one more time and make sure he's not coming out the bottom. And then I'm gonna put my rubber stamp like right there. Um, oh my gosh, so cute! I was coming up with this. It's so funny. I. <laughs> Text is so funny. I was texting, Doris, you may remember this a long time ago. I sent you a photo and I said, what do you think of this? And then um, the photo that I sent was too small. 
but all she replied was too small. And I'm like, oh, the stamp's too small. You can't see it. So I kind of gave up on it, but then I came back to it. Anyway, when we clarified later, she said, no, no, the photo was too small. I couldn't see what you did. Um, but anyway, I came up with this eons ago, actually. So now here we go. Here's our sweet little stamp popping out. And then we'll just give a final couple little decorations over here. What we'll do, a let's celebrate you. Put that in the corner. Lynn, this is your card. We're going to celebrate Lynn right here. Lynn's a great team member. You guys all are. She's just loves stamping up and she, oh my gosh, she's great at coloring. She's been having her own classes. She just um, has been selling handmade, custom handmade cards. I just love all you guys. But Lynn, this one's for you. And then we're going to put a little congratulations on the back. And then I will um, just kind of summarize and then I'll come back to you guys and unmute you guys and just kind of check in with you and um, see if you have any questions. So for those of you on the team, sorry for the reveal, but um, I think it was already revealed at the last team meeting anyone said someone kind of showed it. So, and then how do you do a wiper card? You, um, sorry about that. I'm gonna fuss with that a little bit more, but um, how you open a wiper card is you go like this. You pull the left and you pull the right, and that's how you do it. And so you pull the left and you pull the right. So that's how you do it. And I put a little bow in the corner and that's that. So you guys, um, you can find the instructions tomorrow at leelamikey.com. And if you want to order anything, I will be having an ordering special soon. I was supposed to announce that today, but um, I got a little delayed some of the products I wanted to use. They just arrived, so I can um, focus on that tonight. But anyway, I have an ordering special. So if you order from me, if you order the cheerful basket, you might order the limited edition, you might order kind and sincere. Um, and then not this, but there's a different um, kit that you'll get for free from me. So um, but anyway, you'll get this PDF free, all of you. So thank you. And now I'm going to open it up and go back to you guys and just kind of check in with everybody here. So you guys can come off mute. Any questions or comments? Hi, Courtney Lynn. Hi. So I did have a question for you. Yeah. Did you do, did you do blend abilities on the craft stuff in your basket too? That's a great question. Yes, I did. I did blend abilities. And you know what? I, this is how many blend abilities I did. I sat and colored and colored and colored and <laughs> colored and colored. And I did like, look, I just did all different ones. So I just kind of sat and played. So that's exactly what I did. I used the blends. They're called blends now. Used to be called blend abilities. But yes, I used our alcohol markers and I just sat and colored them all and um, just had a good time. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Good question. Any we other any other felt. questions? No. 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 It's good. All righty. Well, thank yeah, you so much. For, love the card. Love yes. that. Yeah. Thank it's you. Really nice. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys make it and stay tuned for the instructions on LeelaMikey.com. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.